Well, for the final, it had to be champagne, didn't it? I often get asked this, how do you open it? Do you twist the cork or do you twist the bottle? I find the best way is just to do away with all that and grab a knife. Just, uh, <laughs> and just knock the top off the bottle. One of the great things I love about Shaz, believe it or not, is at the end of, of the meal. So what I like to do at the end of the meal is make a little dessert. I've put pomegranate seeds in the base of the glass. Finally, mango sorbet. Just enough to make it fizz. Cheers. Cheers. white port. You don't need too much. <laughs> oh, I've got that. I like your idea of not too much. Well, the thing, the thing is, of course, Richard, it's not, it's not as strong as a, as a spirit. Yes. And then we're going to top it up with a little bit of tonic. <laughs> Party! Yeah. It's a port wine spritzer or a port spritzer. It's closer to that than a cocktail, yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, that is actually really nice. When you are buying a rosé, always look at the date. The dates on wines are not sell-by dates, but with rosés, you could almost treat them as such. It will go off within about 18 months. So if you see anything from a couple of years back, half price in your supermarket, there's a very good reason why they've cut the price on that. Oh. Don't touch it. <laughs> Cocktails are really enjoying a massive resurgence at the moment. You know, anytime there's doom and gloom around, I think people love to have fun, and cocktails is a great way to get started. Okay, now we're going to look at the drink formerly known as the old-fashioned. Everybody, I want you to put some ice in your glasses. We're going to have a dash, little more than a dash of Angostura bitters. This is an essential cocktail ingredient. Got to have some. I'm going to use some vanilla syrup. It's one part sugar to two parts water. I'm going to put a dash. Come on, no show without punch. Yeah. Let's put in the whiskey. I've got another ingredient that you'll recognise when I tell you what it is. It's Earl Grey tea. Oh, great. Tea's nice because... I love tea. It's bitter, but the old grey tea is also aromatic because we've got the bergamot in there, okay? Whiskey's very aromatic, so you want something in there to harmonise with those aromas, but you don't want it to overpower. Ginger. This is ginger ale. And again, it's a, it's a good shot here. We're not looking to make it a fizzy drink, okay? We're looking to just really give it a lift, bring it alive. Cheers. 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 My concern, Ashley, with the dish and the wine was actually about the parsnips, but you've mastered the parsnips really well. The sweetness is totally as it should be. Well done. It could... So I'm going to show you how to decant. You need a clean decanter and a funnel. And finally, a I pair of tights. No. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I paid for them. <laughs> they came with a set. <laughs> so you just stretch that across the funnel. And then you slowly start to pour the wine. Okay, guys, red wine. I'm going to start with this wine. It's an Italian wine. It's a Chianti. And the grape used for this is Sangiovese. This has been in use since the Roman times. Although their wine was nothing like we'd recognize it. They put red grapes and white grapes together. They flavored it with things like rosemary, with garlic, and if you can believe it, seawater. And that's, that, that bitterness makes it very good to go with food, believe it or not. Italian wines are designed to go with food, mm -hmm. not really to be drunk on their own. Okay, they call that uh, drinking alla inglese, <laughs> <laughs> English style. So Bordeaux produced wine in vast quantities and it was all shipped to England because in those days, in the 11th, 12th, 13th centuries and, and up until almost the 20th century, you couldn't drink water. It just wasn't safe. So the population spent most of their time quite quiffy, <laughs> tipsy, <laughs> um, sozzled. Thank you. Yours looks like a glass of orange juice. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a taste, shall we? What's in there? Uh, vodka, orange juice, orange liqueur. Maybe too much alcohol in there. Um, I could drink it if, if there was nothing else. <laughs>